Hi, this is Colin in Lincoln with Blue Marble Consulting. Today we're going to walk you through one of our custom-developed Fiori apps, Employee Hire. This app is used to view vacant positions in an organization and quickly and easily fill out new hire information. So with that, I'll pass it over to our developer Lincoln, who created the application, to walk you through some of the specifics. Thank you, Colin. So here is a custom developed Fury app which can be easily deployed on your uh, Fury landscape. Uh, this, is, uh, it, this is an HR employee hire application. HR administrators can use this application to hire new employees in their organization. Uh, this is a master detail application and on the left hand side is the master view where uh, you can see a list of all the uh, departments with vacant positions in them. So these are not all the departments in your organization, only the departments with, which have vacancies in them. Uh, so I can see that there are 10 departments with vacancies and here is a list of all the departments. Um, if you notice a particular department it sh or a particular list, it shows you the, um, the department title, the name of the department, it gives you the code of the department, it also tells you the number of open positions in that department and gives you a total number of positions existing in that department. On the detailed view, it gives you the de details of the department, like the controlling area, cost center, business area, company code, etc., etc., and tells you that there are six uh, vacant positions and there are 32 total positions in this department. So if you want to hire a particular employee in, in a particular department, you would uh, first click on a particular department and that will list all the vacant positions in that department. So if you notice a particular position in the detail view, you will see that it shows you the position title, the position uh, text, the key of the position, and it tells you the status, whether the position is a new position or in process or delimited position, etc. So if you want to hire a particular employee in a particular position, you would first click that position. As soon as you click it, you see the details are listed on the detail view. So here I'm trying to hire an employee into the payroll as a payroll administrator. It tells me the code of the uh, position, it tells me the status of the position and a short text of the position. Now the screen is broken up into five parts, the personal information, address, salary details, benefits and a final report. So to first fill up the form, I would uh, fill this up. So let me say if I want to hire Colin into this department, I would say Colin and some social and I can uh, fill up an address for and all the implicit uh, SAP validations kick in here because uh, the, it, this application runs from SAP backend if you want to copy the address over to the mailing address, you could just click the copy to mailing address button. Next, we'll move on to the salary tab where I can give details for this uh, salary details for this employee. Now, here are the likely grades that are possible for this position. If you would like to use one of those, you can just click over and copy that information down below. Or if you want, you could even change a couple of values. This is based on your organization's policies and rules. So because this is a custom built application, so we can build up these rules into the application. Next we'll move on to the benefits tab where you can, you see a list of possible uh, benefit, uh, benefits for this position. If you, if the employee is eligible or has made these selections, you can add them to the employee. And, and if the employee is eligible for this plan, vision coverage, you can add vision, you can add dental, you can add medical. And once you're done with your work, you get a final report of what you had filled up. So you see that I'm trying to hire Colin Smith into a payroll administrator position. Here is the dates for this hire. Um, here is the employee's home address, the mailing address, salary details, retirement, savings plans, and all the medical coverages that I have added. Of course, I have not selected dental and medical. So if I notice that I made a mistake, I could go back and I can add those also in and once I've added it, it gets dynamically updated so I know that okay now I have filled up uh, the details so the dental coverage is on, vision is on, medical insurance is on. 
So once I'm satisfied with my work, for example, I could save this form as a draft so if I want to continue with it at a later stage. Or if I am satisfied, I can send this form for approval. So as, I, as soon as I click it, the form will be sent to approval to the manager. And there is a standard Fury application called as a worklist. So the manager of this position would receive a, a, a work item for, for approval in their worklist, which they can approve. And based on the way the workflow is set up, it could be routed to further approvals, or it can update the system directly and thus hiring the employee into the organization. So this way you could uh, use this application to quickly hire uh, employees into your organization and because this is a Fury based application, so it will render well even on your smartphone or your tablet. So you could do your uh, employee hires on your tablet based using this custom Fury application. So this is a quick demo of this application and now I'll hand over this control to um, Colin. So Colin, take over, thank you. Great, well thank you Lincoln for walking us through your application. And as you can see, custom developed apps greatly improve the end user experience and they can even expedite your current processes, in this case for employee hires. For any of your custom Fiori app needs, please contact Blue Marble with our number listed here and for more details on the benefits of using Fiori, please visit our website at sap-bmc.com forward slash Fiori.